that's me. I am on my way to go get the mail. Monday. I have no idea what the hell is going on. Because I ordered stuff from Swans. For Christmas food. And that's not what I'm talking about. What I don't know what the hell is going on is Allstate. The other driver is responsible for the damage that they did. Oh, come on. Unlock. So, they're supposed to do what is called a field inspection. They're supposed to send an inspector out to look at my vehicle. What are you doing? Do you have to go pee or not? Come on. So, <clears throat> the deal was they were supposed to send somebody out over here to look at it. Well, now I have no idea what the hell is going on. I got a hold of Allstate. Progressive, since they're the other insurance companies taking full responsibility, they're letting Allstate pay it out and then they're going to reimburse Allstate. Okay, I got that point. The point is, is I was told not to drive it because of the uh, damage it's done. So, I've just been leaving that set. I drove it once to the post office since after the accident. Well, now the adjuster, because I cleaned it out, I vacuumed that. The back seat's pretty well, pretty well wiped down. I vacuumed it out, got it as clean as I could get it. And then the... Allstate adjuster said, well, the field adjuster is going to come out and look at it. Okay, I got that. Well, now he's saying that it needs to be taken to the shop. I said, well, what do you want me to do? I said, you told me not to drive it. So, the issue I'm running into is because they haven't set an exact date or time. They just said either today or tomorrow. Well, tomorrow being Tuesday, the day before the Thanksgiving paper comes out, which Thanksgiving paper comes out on Wednesday, and then they're not having a Thanksgiving paper, it's just a two-day paper. Well then, I explained to the adjuster what was going on. Oh, well I didn't realize you're going to be busy. I said, yeah, I told you that. Oh, well we can't guarantee that the field adjuster will come out today. It'll probably be more like tomorrow. I said, well, what do you want me to do? Well, I would just suggest leave it sit in your driveway until we know exactly for sure when the field adjuster is going to come out and look at your vehicle. Okay, well that tells me absolutely nothing. I said, I don't have all day to wait. I said, I got stuff I got to do on Tuesday. I said, so why don't I just drop it? No, no, no. Don't drop it off because the, the, the dealership and the body shop is not going to have time to mess with it. So wait until before so I just been waiting and he was supposed to well he called me and said well there's not much I can do until we know exactly for sure when well I've just been sitting there waiting because he's supposed to call me back sometime later today to find out if there has been an adjuster a field adjuster signed to it <laughs> because he's telling me that I can get it fixed for about three thousand dollars well, the girl just didn't do damage to the door. She did damage to the pillar of the door, the fender, the passenger side headlights. The tab is broke on the passenger side headlight. So the passenger side headlight moves and it never moved before. <clears throat> the back bumper is hanging lower than what it used to. So now I've got to deal with that. And it's like... I really would like to know what the hell they're going to do because one way or another I would like to know because I don't have all day to play their damn games. And Progressive, it sounds like Progressive doesn't want to total it out. They want to fix it. Well, I hate to tell them this, but it's not going to be right after it's fixed. And I wouldn't feel safe driving it because those two 
doors on the passenger side could go flying open. Because I'm still in the process of waiting to find out what the hell's going on. And it seems like they're taking their good old time. Even though, yeah, it was a week ago the accident happened. But I've never had this much problems with an insurance company. And it was the other driver's fault. And the fact that it was a hit and run. The girl went left of center. She went between myself, a stop sign, and a ditch. Makes it even worse. And come to find out she had already went to court and she didn't get much out of it. So that really pisses me off. And it's like, really? It's like... Either way, it's not going to be right. And the insurance company suggested, since I got letters from lawyers, is if I don't feel that this is going to be right and the process is taking longer, to contact one of those lawyers. I don't want to do it yet until I know what the hell they're doing. Because I need to know, because it seems like I've got screwed either way. And the fact that that girl didn't get much out of it really makes me mad. Because somebody like that hit and run, causing an accident, going between a stop sign and another vehicle and a ditch, she should have got more out of it than what she did. She didn't even get much out of it. And the only reason why I found out this is because I read it on Facebook. Because the girl's so stupid and she posts stuff on Facebook. It's like, really? <coughs> That's why I just want them to make it right. Because I was following the law. I was stopped at a stop sign like I was supposed to. And the fact that I was stopped and that girl just plowed right into me. It, it doesn't make any sense how she didn't get much out of it. Because that's really pissing me off. Because this is the time of year I need my vehicle to do the big papers and I'm not going to have it because of the stupid moron girl that doesn't know how to drive. And the fact that her, it's just it just makes me so mad. It's like someone like that doesn't need to be on the road. <laughs> oh, great. Another train coming. Well, this is wonderful. The well, fall state even calls me. I don't have my phone on me because it's at the house. Please tell me this one's moving fast. I'm just getting so irritated with this whole accident and insurance thing. It's just frustrating. Because I can't do it. They, one insurance company tells me, well, if it's that much damage, you might want to start looking for another vehicle. The other insurance company says wait, so it's like I can't do anything. Really, because now I'm just stuck waiting. Oh, come on. I just want to get this whole deal with this insurance accident thing over. I would like to have my own vehicle. I don't like relying on someone else's vehicle, even if it's a rental car or not. I don't. I don't even like relying on using my partner's car because I'd rather have my own vehicle. can't do anything, babies. There's two trains coming. Fuck that. Both of them came 
You behave, I'll be right back. Yeah, they were located. I'm glad that they were able to use the police department was able to locate the other driver, but because both insurance companies said it would probably be better after all this is done is to get a hold of a lawyer because of the fact that that girl didn't get much out of it. Because the state trooper said he didn't feel comfortable giving her much out of it because she's a minor and that's what the the insurance company both insurance companies said that the fact that that girl caused the accident makes it even worse and they said it doesn't matter that she was a minor or not they said that she should be held up more accountable than what she has that's why I'm getting so frustrated and irritated and everything. Because I have not got anywhere with either one of the insurance companies because they're taking their slow-ass time. And I've explained to them several times, I need a vehicle. Yeah, they gave me a rental vehicle, but the rental vehicle is a piece of shit. whole thing done with. but I'm going to stop it right here please like please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon have a good day Bye.